Hey guys, welcome back to Huntscraft. Hunt Huntsy bringing you another video, and today is something not a little bit different. It's actually really different from what I normally do, but it's how to uh, make a uh, Star Wars card trader, which is an app on the iPhone, Android, all the mo you know mobile phones, at Windows, I think too. Um, Windows, I said Windows, I think. And, and anyways, <laughs> this is how to make a vintage card. I've been searching the web for how to do this, and all that I get is like people saying, how do I make this? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to screw finding out how to make it on my own or finding out how to, you know, just make it or getting a template or anything. And I'm just going to do it myself and then let you guys have my template for free because I am a nice person. So enjoy it. <laughs> so I will tell you that I am using Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud right now. And um, yeah, so that's really all you guys need to know. And um, and if you guys want to follow along, this uh, file, it's a PDF file, will be in the description below as, uh, you know, anything in my video, like a mod showcase and stuff like that. Anyways, let's get out of the talking and into the working. Sorry about that, guys. My dog was barking, and I, I know you guys hate that. I hate it. So anyways, let's just get a picture. So, I have this picture of Darth Vader already, um, already loaded onto Photoshop. So what I'm going to, going to do is I'm just going to drag it off of this uh, file and onto the template, just like that. And that's a really big file. I didn't even uh, read the dimensions of that. Um, so I'll just scale it down or scale it to wherever you like it. Um, any photo. It doesn't have to be Star Wars. Um, but, you know, why, why not Star Wars? Why not Zoidberg, right? <laughs> um, and anyways... So let's just go and, um, yeah, so we have the picture. It goes in between the background layer and the vibrance layer. I know that I haven't really, um, I, I don't know really how to make a distributable Photoshop file right now without, you know, just telling you where stuff goes and what opaci or opacity to make it and stuff like that. So bear with me, guys. Um, I don't do this often, but I do do it, so do do. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Whoa. Okay. So, we have the uh, Darth Vader file in between Vibrance and Background, as I just said. So, basically, what we want to do now is go to the text layer on our um, on the um, layers panel and just push T to make it the text tool. Highlight everything by either double-clicking inside of the text box or just highlighting it all or just or clicking one part of it and then pushing backspace until everything's gone but that's that's boring so let's just make it say something so let's just put uh, quotes there Luke um, I am your uh, your time yum your uh, father let's just put that that's I know it's pretty generic and uh, quite frankly I could have could have done better so whenever we want to move it you just uh, double click it to make it a, um, a movable file. I don't really know what it's called. I'm sorry. But you just right click it and you hold down shift so it doesn't move up and down. Or maybe it does. <laughs> um, you just hold shift and uh, you just drag it along until you get it to the middle of the page. Now I'm sure that there's an easy way as always to get this. But anyways, this is how I do it. And once you see that purple line going down the middle of the uh, document, you can let go of both shift and your click button, and it is there just like that. And just to let you know, guys, this is all the same for a Mac. Um, you know, uh, control is command and that kind of stuff. So if I, you hear me say control, I'll say command, but I, I don't think I'll need to say control in this video. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so anyways, we have the text down. And um, anything that you guys put in this uh, will keep the black outline, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so you just click on the Vibrance layer, and um, then you make everything above it opaque. So the creased edges file, the text file, and the banner, which includes the, um, the vintage uh, banner stuff. So it's just a picture, and it's alright if you have that little white box above it, because that'll be hidden in the final project. So you click that, and then you hold down Control, Shift, Alt, and E, and for a Mac, of course, it's Command, Shift, Alt, E. So, I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> and um, then you want to um, 
Just make everything above that again uh, visible by pushing the eyeball icon next to the layers. So you go to the layer one thing that you just made, the layer one layer, <laughs> and uh, or whatever it's called. I don't. It's just called layer one on mine by default. Uh, you go to, you click on that, and then you go up to filter, pixelate, color half tone. Click on that. This is default by eight, so go down to four. So it makes that uh, kind of comic booky, kind of. <laughs> But it's kind of hard to see. So what you want to do is go down to Opacity and then type in 35. And there you go, guys. That is how literally to make a vintage Star Wars card trader card. I mean, that's that's seriously how. It looks authentic, uh, according to everyone that I've asked, including myself and my father <laughs> and everyone else. And okay, uh, it, it just looks authentic. Um, and if you guys want to go a little bit more into depth with this, I'll just show you guys what the, um, what the dimensions is, because why not? It's 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches, but, uh, that's any trading card. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, or more importantly, if this tutorial helped you out a lot, or some, or anything at all, then just, um, you know, tell me, uh, leave a like comment and subscribe. I will be doing more uh, Photoshop tutorials uh, in the future. And guys, until next time, I'm the Hunt, I'm the Governmaster, and I am your father. Goodbye! <laughs> Get it? Because it's I, yeah, it's Darth Vader, yeah. Ha! <laughs>